Jason, don't tell me I shouldn't be here. Okay. I just need you to calm me down. All right, what happened? I mean, it's good that I came here instead of just going with my first impulse, right? Yes, yes, it's good. You know, it would have been so easy. So easy, like that, I would have had him. I mean, in two minutes, in two minutes, we were right there, we were going for it. He's deluded. He's deluded. He is clinging to the fantasy that he's going to turn into some new man so he can be good enough for Kate. As if she is worth the time or the energy. As if she can fill Sonny's bottomless pit of, of need and selfishness. Okay, so you had a fight with Sonny? No, I had a fight with Kate in the lobby of the Metro Court. She walked up to me and she started lecturing me about my cruelty to Sonny, how I need to stop, how I need to leave him alone and stop blaming him for what happened to Michael. And then I need to go to grief counseling. Grief counseling. That bitch is trying to tell me what to do with my kid. You know, it took everything in me not to physically throw her out of my building. I kind of wish you had. You mean that? Not me, I would have caused more problems than to solve, but... I mean, she would have ran to Jax and Sonny would have came down on you, but you know what, it's, it's, it's good to see you like this, even though you're a little mad. I'm mad. I'm mad enough to rip her hair out of her head and go have sex with Sonny. Just because I can. Mr. Aaron, that having sex with Sonny wouldn't, you know, fix anything. I'm happy with Jax. I want to be happy. Someday, you know, it, it, it's good to have goals, right, Jason? Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, I just miss Michael all the time. And as horrible as it is to say I am tired of hurting and I'm tired of feeling empty, it's easier to fight with Sonny. It's easier to blow my life apart because that's familiar. I know how to do that. So it's easier to hurt yourself. Yeah, because then I'm responsible for the pain. It doesn't come from a phone call telling me that my little boy is shot and his life is basically over. Sleeping with Sonny has familiar results. Yeah, we'll blame each other. And the accusations will go back and forth on who wanted who first, but Kate's heart would be stepped on and hopefully she'd be gone. That would be an added bonus. Jax would be devastated, but you know, he'd have the excuse he needs to leave. And Sonny and I would be back to where we know. Problem is, I just took over this business to keep you and the kids away from Sonny. So if you're having second thoughts, you need to tell me right now. Sonny and getting back together with him are two totally different things. One's a possibility, the other will never happen. Why? Because Michael's in a permanent coma. Because I couldn't stay away from Sonny. I mean, after I married Jax, I was still caught up in Sonny's life, and Michael's paid the price for it. It's a lot more complicated than that, Carl. I know. I know that. You know, I, I know that we've all made mistakes and, and we've all made choices. Stupid, selfish, arrogant choices. Assuming that we could keep Michael safe. Assuming that the craziness and the fighting wouldn't get to him and we were wrong. So the only thing I can change from now on is how, how I handle things in the future. so loyal to Sonny after the way he treated you well, we've been friends a long time you know last night when we were fighting I told him how I almost ran away with Morgan and he said I was lying so I was just jerking you around trying to get you to do what I wanted you to do that's what Sonny thinks about you and me well, however it happened, he signed his kids away. He's got to feel like we betrayed him. Do you regret it? I'd do it again. So he thinks he can have a new life. 
Maybe he can, but his kids still need to be protected. That's why I took over the business, Carly, to keep you guys safe. Alexa started all this, you know. She wants Sonny to give up Christina. And he won't. So Alexis went to Jax, and Jax came to me, and he asked me to talk to Sonny. Yeah, I don't know if it's sweet or naive that Jax doesn't realize by now what Sonny and I do to each other. You know how dangerous it is to put us in the same room when we're this angry and hurt over what happened to Michael. So he thinks he can have a new life. Maybe he can, but his kids still need to be protected. That's why I took over the business, Carly, to keep you guys safe. Alexa started all this, you know. She wants Sonny to give up Christina. And he won't. So Alexis went to Jax, and Jax came to me, and he asked me to talk to Sonny. I don't know if it's sweet or naive that Jax doesn't realize by now what Sonny and I do to each other. You know how dangerous it is to put us in the same room when we're this angry and hurt over what happened to Michael. And the thing is, as furious as I am at him and how much I regret ever being with him. He's still Michael's father, you know? He's... We share so many memories, Michael's whole life. Sonny is the only person who understands how bad it hurts to lose my little boy. <laughs>